Hey, Mr. Pydude here, and this is episode 7 of my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! BAM. And with another BAM Ghost Spin, we clear off another space and get a reward of 30 energy. So we'll go back to chapter 8, and we got a lot of gifts, so we'll just accept, accept, accept. And get uh, a notification from BAM News about uh, new uh, chapter in uh, series 2. So uh, we'll go back to the uh, main story map and go to chapter 9 since uh, we were only in chapter 8 for that ambush mission. So we'll do this first duel in chapter 9. And after it's done loading, it's taken a while. Okay, so we'll put uh, our scissor, scissor, and a uh, coffin cellar. And oh yeah, I forgot to change the spec to 8 times speed. Okay, so um, let's see, our scissor will uh, fall to the uh, praying mantis thing, but it does have feeble, so it's uh, slowly losing power, so instead of destroying that, we'll destroy that, uh, a, what is that, like a horseman thing, what's it called? it's a centaur, that's what it's called, yeah, it's like a centaur thing, so our fish will destroy that, and we will put a scissor and a sword of dark destruction to destroy the praying mantis. So we do just that and we destroy the horsemen. But uh, in the third channel we'll get directly attacked and we'll lose. So we'll try again with uh, starting with a scissor and a cyber commander. We'll put the sword of dark destruction with the cyber commander. Hopefully it will survive. But it looks like with those two axes with I think they have boost all 200. They kill both my monsters and deal damage to me. They uh, self-destruct, so we have three monsters, they only have two. And they got that gazelle to boost all earth monsters, but I have earth monsters also, and one of them is directly attacking my opponent. So we get uh, a lot of damage on them, but unfortunately they have a uh, monster advantage of plus one. So we put down ancient gear and another Cesar, and we have uh, plus 500 power to each of our monsters this turn, but unfortunately with the gazelle of mythical beast, uh, Gazelle King of Mythical Beast, it just, uh, the Centaur has too much power, um, so our ancient gear can't defeat it. So again, we lose. We'll have to try it one more time. So we put down Gate Deeg, Mechanical Snail, and put the Sword of Dark Destruction with Gate Deeg. And Gate Deeg will destroy that Praying Mantis, and we'll get directly tech again. So put Coffin Cellar, and then Ancient Gear to install our Machine Monsters. So let's see, Coffin Cellar will cripple, Gal Snail will beat it, and Ancient Gear will beat it. So we're at a plus three monster advantage, we do roll monsters, so we can't really play this turn. But we destroy all of our opponent's monsters again, and of course we can't play anything this turn either. So Mechanical Snail will attack directly, and it looks like we're in pretty good position to win this game. And we do win, even before Mechanical Snail can directly attack, we don't get a very good reward. Because it's only like that heal 200, but uh, yeah, we'll go into the next duel against Joey. We got uh, Scizor, Mechanical Snail, and a Coffin Cellar. And you got these things that are like um, the uh, Drain, I think they have the ability Drain, and then Timidy, or Timid, I mean. Might be Timidy, but it's just if you have two or more monsters, they lose power. Just like kind of like Backfire, where it's just hindering them since if they didn't have it they would be too good or something. So uh yeah he destroys my cyber commander but I have a sword of dark destruction and a scissor to try to, to uh destroy it. And they have that beast fang thing that inflicts damage on me I think and then uh increases the monster in front of its power. So we got ancient gear and machine attacker. And of course ancient gear increases the power and this, they uh, have another one of those beast fang things and the uh, that uh, thing in the third channel destroys my ancient gear but we have a fissure to deal with that and we destroy both monster or all of my, my opponent's monsters so we have a plus one monster advantage going into the next round and they will attack us directly this round um, but it shouldn't hurt too much since we have a plus one monster, monster advantage after that and since I have no cards, we can attack directly and win uh, a centaur centaur card. So we're going to another one of those teleporter, but actually 
We have to go the other way since it just brings us back to the start, but we have uh Cesar, Gate Deeg, and Sword of Dark Destruction. And we def uh, we uh get destroyed as well as the opponent's monster in the first channel. Uh we'll put Cesar up against the uh only monster on my opponent's side of the field. They do have uh, Alligator Sword, which has the ability Sneak, which is basically automatically destroys the monster facing it um, before it attacks, so it's a really good ability. Uh, looks like they have three of those that boost uh, 300. We defeat the first one, but of course the uh, next two attack directly, and we lose. So we'll have to try again, and we put Fissure in the third or second channel, put Cyber Commander in the third, and unfortunately Cyber Commander will get destroyed, as well as Cesar, since Alligator Sword has the ability to sneak, and the first shot monster just overpowers us. I'll put Mechanical Snail, and then Gate Deeg, put uh, uh, Sword of Dark Destruction in with uh, Gate Deeg, but then we'll just move both those over to try to directly attack, but they have another Alligator Sword to sneak, and then of course it will self-destruct at the end of the round. We have Ancient Gear, so that's pretty good. Uh, it'll increase its own attack by 800 now, since we got the Machine Factory and its own ability. So we end up getting destroyed, and we lose again. So I'll have to face Joey one more time. Mechanical Snail and Cesar. They have two Invigorations, but we'll attack directly, and they will destroy us. We're even at monster level. And we'll put Machine Attacker to block some of the damage, since it'll probably destroy us anyways. Um, Alligator Sword will destroy and do a one-hand damage to us. We'll uh, destroy the uh, Timid thing. And we have on the next hand Fissure to destroy the monster in the middle. And we'll destroy all of our opponent's monsters this turn. This will just get some shock and direct attack damage. Put Ancient Gear in the middle, Coffin Cellar, late game. It's uh, pretty much over right now. Common Seller will destroy the Alligator Swords, so we'll be able to attack directly two times in this round. And that will almost be enough to take out Joey, but one more turn should do it. And let's see, and I'm right. So, we win that, we finally win that, after losing, like, what was that, two times? Okay, so we got the treasure chest, and got an objective for opening, uh, I think two treasure chests. Two treasure chests, and we got, uh, 100 energy, so that's much needed. Okay, so we go to the next boss battle. Looks like it's against, like, Merrick, I think. So we have a Coffin Cellar and a Fissure, as well as a Cesar. So we destroy the, uh, middle channel monster, as well as the first channel monster. But the, uh, third one will attack us directly, although I think I'll be able to beat it with Gate Deeg, um, since it will have the Timid ability active. Uh, just have, a sort of Dark Destruction to make sure we beat it. And let's see, so our Mechanical Snail will get destroyed, but it will destroy Gate Deeg also. Okay, so we got Scizor, Cyber Commander, and Ancient Gear, so all of our monsters will get boosted by 800 this round. Just switch a couple of our monsters' position. Yep. Okay, so let's see if that's enough power to destroy the first channel monster, which is yes. We destroy the first channel monster. And we destroy the second one. Cyber Command gets destroyed, but it's not that big of a deal since we just want to uh, get rid of that thing. Uh, let's use some of our uh, power ups here. Just look around. Um, I guess we really don't need them at this moment. Let's see what happens. We'll get everyone boosted by 500. And of course, that uh, thing will cripple us. But uh, we destroy the middle channel, and we'll destroy the other... No, it will destroy us. Okay, so now the uh, monster on my opponent's side is looking pretty powerful, so let's just make sure we defeat our opponent on the first uh, attack of the game. Or, not the game, the round. And Ancient Gear will not take, him out, take out my opponent, but the second channel with uh, Machine Attacker will. So we win that boss battle, and we get a treasure chest, and we get another one of these uh, centaur things. 
and we'll do uh, another duel, but before that, we have an ambush. So, Mechanical Snail and Cesar, and it looks like Gazelle will uh, gain a lot of power from uh, Invigoration plus its effect. So, it will defeat our monster, then we'll put Gear Engineer plus Machine Factory. Although it does have Invigoration, it uh, won't be enough to take us out, and we have a plus 3 monster advantage, plus they don't have any spells on the field. So this game is pretty much done at this point. Even though they have two of those uh, axe things that boost all their monsters 200, uh, they won't have enough power to destroy us. And because of that shock damage, we uh, win. So we're done with that ambush, and moving on to the real duel. We got Machine Attacker, plus a Sword Direct Destruction. Should take out really anything. But they do have a lot of boosting uh, power monsters here, but that won't be enough. They will attack us directly, but we are pretty even on monsters right now. We'll boost Machine Attacker one more time with Sword of Dark Destruction. And Gazelle, King of Mythical Beasts, will boost uh, Machine Attacker once more, so it's over 2,000 power now. Even though they have two uh, more monsters than uh, I do, I think we are pretty much uh, in good position since Machine Attacker's attack is just way high. If we just survive this round, which we don't, okay, just one more round probably would have uh, taken out our opponent. We've got Mechanical Snail plus Sword of Dark Destruction and Cyber Commander in the third channel. They have three spells down, and only one of them activates, so I don't really know what they are. One is Invigoration, okay, so they both have Invigorations, so they just were uh, waiting for monsters to activate them. And of course, Machine Attacker and Cyber Commander will get destroyed. So, not looking terribly great. Another Invigoration and Gazelle King of Mythical Beasts ability. We'll take out the uh, Gazelle, but their Centaurs are looking pretty powerful. But we do get a lucky draw with the Coffin Seller really late game. Um, which uh, should lower everyone's power by a lot. And we win. So we got 400 silver coins, and a, another opportunity to open a treasure chest. Okay, so we collected 5 cards, got another objective, and do another duel. Our objective award from the previous objective was a baby dragon, which is probably not that great. It's 500 power, no ability, so probably going to sell it uh, sometime after this. Uh, we got Gear Engineer and Ancient Gear, which is always a great start. Uh, usually I'll win the game if I start with that, although the Battle Footballer with its Rage ability does get really powerful uh, really soon. But Fissure will take that out, and with no other uh, that strong of monsters, I mean that bad thing, I think does have a cripple ability, but it doesn't have that high of a power, so we win. And uh, one more boss battle, and we will complete this chapter. So let's uh, just go and do that. I uh, had to stop and recover energy, but now we have enough energy to continue. We start with a Gate Deed and a Coffin Seller as well as a Sword of Dark Destruction. Our Gate Deed will take out the opposing monster. They do have a Battle Footballer, but we have a uh, Scizor and a Mechanical Snail. They now play two Battle Footballers as well as this like Rhino thing. I don't think the round thing is too great. They have a really good card actually that they play. It's at any time if I have three monsters on the field, I lose 1,500 life points. So I'm really not sure what to do here. Uh, just trying to figure out uh, how I can survive. And I think the only way I can do that is to destroy their spell. But they end up playing another one, so I die anyway. So it's just like a waste of power up there. Um, we uh, don't have enough energy, so I'll have to stop and recover some energy. So I will see you back here when I have enough. Okay, so we have enough energy, and we are going to try that boss battle one more time. But in between videos, I just revamped my entire deck. I basically took every, like, high power monster and put it in there. It just eliminated any like mono machine deck option. Um, 
just to make sure the deck was as powerful as possible. So we put uh, this Queen Mantis thing or something. And Gishki Diviner, I think it's pronounced. And it does have Osmosis, which helps against Battle Footballer since we destroy it. And the Rhino thing will attack us directly. Put Alien Hunter, since it does have 1600 power just from the beginning. But I, I will switch out since now if I put out uh, that card, we have Cripple All 400. And that is really good. They put out that, uh, that Rhino thing, I think, has Sacrifice Spell. That's why it got destroyed. And we won. So it looks like this deck is a lot better uh, than my previous one, considering like my previous one had like an average of 800 power and no effects just because they were machines. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for episode 8.